Hello and welcome today, we're checking out Rising Lords. This is a medieval turn-based strategy game being developed by Arganwood. The very early look at the game here. This isn't coming out until uh, April of this year. Uh, but it's coming along quite nicely. I've actually had a, uh, a key, the dev sent me a key a long time ago, and I've been keeping my eye on it because uh, it's it's an interesting idea. I The first thing that came to mind when I first played it was, uh, was Lords of the Realm. If anyone remembers that game back in the 90s, where it's a sort of you... Um, just like this one, you're a lord, you're building up your kingdom, you're making sure your peasants are fed and housed, and uh, and you've got weapons, and you're building up armies and sort of storming across the map, turn-based style. And uh, this is a very similar idea, and I, I think it's worth showing off now. It has, has come along quite a way since I first got the key, and uh, let's try it out. So we go into a single-player game, we'll go into a scenario. I am Sarnook, by the way, and we'll choose our map, we'll choose our opponents, and we'll dive in here. So we can choose uh, resources, Yeah, we'll leave it all medium, just... Whatever, that's fine. I've got myself. I'm fighting against two AIs. We can change how they uh, how the AI works as well. There, we got a couple different maps to pick from. Also, uh, this one is very cool looking, and so I will choose that one. Uh, we can also change my face, so I can be. There's one in here with a uh, yeah, that guy right there. And um, sure, this one. I like this one. And let's go with um, yeah. I go in the battle with my PJs on. Now we got some points to spend. We can like spend some points to gain. Uh, just a little boosts for our guy as we go into combat. We can say, I'm careless, which means my, my harvest and animal growth is minus 15%. These are all sort of, it's not really fleshed out yet. Again, early days. So we'll see. I'm um, uh, I'm popular. Sure. Helps with the animals. I can have a, a, a dagger, which gives me more damage if, as as a general. Or uh, maybe some morale. I'll take the uh, the dagger. Oh, that's too much. We'll just do the dagger then. Um, there's also a, a, a thing in here with tactics as you go into battle where you can gain these cards, which you sort of just spend these as you're in this tactical combat, which helps out certain things. I'll take, I don't know, I'll take that one. I'll take uh, shields up, and how about charge? Sure. Done. Okay, so as we go into combat, we'll get those cards. We'll see how those come on later on. Uh, right now, only conquest is in the game, so let's uh, let's let's do this. So, again, we are a, uh, it's like a crumbling kingdom, right? We, we are, uh, we're a lord. It's our job to build smithies and houses and, and walls and making sure our peasants are working the fields and what kind of fields they're working and, and all that kind of thing. So we got six peasants here in town. Take a look at the map here real quick. Most of it's fog of war, but we are here in the uh, in the yellow land. You can see that down this way. And uh, we've got resources up top. We have the how my kingdom feels about me. We've got uh, pop, uh, happiness right here that's growing. We've got the ta the taxes. We've got the uh, the rations we're giving out. We've got how many people are in our kingdom right now. We've got I think this is food health. Yeah, the health of my population here. Uh, we are um, we got cows and, and and sheep maybe, and we got some some grain coming in. We don't have any cows and sheep yet. We'll get them in a second. And we can see our uh, our places here. We got our, our our town keep here. We've got some fields around. We can pick up our peasants and put them to work in the fields, like that. We can say, oh, you go over there and get some lumber for me. You can see these numbers are growing as we put people to work. Uh, this will clean out these uh, these brambles here if we need to to add another field. Uh, looks like we got a mine over there. So hey, you go get that mine worked on. Nope. You work on the mine. Is that bringing in stone? Yeah, yeah, right there. And uh, we got two more people guys sitting around just drinking, and they should be working. So let's see what else can we get here. So the main goal here is as we as we go on, of course, we're going to build up our kingdom and and, and expand and and take over other kingdoms as well. Um, I think what we'll do is to start off with. We're going to come in here, and we're going to build ourselves a, a smithy, which will allow me to build weapons, which we'll use to build an army. This is where the Lords of the Realm thing comes in. If anyone remembers that game, it's a long time ago. Hey, you, come over here and work on that. Now, at the fields, we can tell them what he wants them to do. Build grain, uh, cows, horses, sheep. These all do different things. Horses, of course, we can build cavalry units. Uh, cows give us milk as well as food, and uh, and the sheep give us wool as well as that. And having like a well-balanced diet makes the peasants happy and all that. Uh, let's just do grain here. It's fine, and I think same thing for for you. Well, you know we'll do we'll do some some animals. How about this? We'll go uh, we'll go with some some cows. There we go, and uh, we will we'll tell them don't eat the cows. So we'll gain cows over time, which will uh, give us more cows, but we won't be able to get as much food by eating them. Uh, when we go to a, a, a war, we will go into building ourselves an army. We can do that right here. So I will lead this army. Obviously, I can send anyone else in the world, really, but. I can handle this, and let's go build up an army. We can we can send in a whole bunch of people. We have all the weapons to support peasants, and we've got uh, we've got. I'm gonna get you out of there. We got folks with spears. We got swordsmen. We have archers. We can send them all in the combat if we want. This will make people very unhappy at the moment, and it's gonna cost me a lot of my. Uh, well, we'll lose you know, almost 150 people, which is what's right here, 
And we're using some gold to support these guys. We're going to hold off and do that next turn, though, so hang on a minute. So let's just go ahead and pass the turn and let the uh, let the kingdom grow. The guy I put here in this uh, smithy is, is building it. Each round, it will uh, grow a little bit longer. I think each turn is a season, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see, we got another, uh, this is like a neutral peasant down this way. And we've got, anyone else over here? We got a bridge we could cross that way. This is all fog of war. We got someone else up here. This one up right to the north here. There's a merchant there. Come over here, we can storm these guys and take their land, which sounds to me like a good idea. So remember that army we were talking about? Let's do it. Food health is going down because we're not eating cows now, but if we say, you can eat some cows, this will go back up. Uh, and we'll have, we'll be eating less grain. We see all the grain we have in storage, all the cows that we have. Uh, yeah, you know what? Go ahead, eat some cows. Also provide some milk for us. And uh, let's go and raise an army. As I showed before. I'm going to do just what I did before. Get rid of the peasants. We can bring a few peasants in, I guess. Maybe like... Like a, like a group of like, I don't know, 60 peasants. This is going to be very, very angry people in my in my town. But they'll, they'll get over it. And we'll, uh, we'll go to war here. They are called the Rats. Perfect name for my army. Alright, let's raise the army. And uh, muster that army up. Here we go. They are now here. The rats are here. People are a little bitter about it. We can say, you know what? Um, do I have enough food for that? Yeah, yeah. Eat some more food and you'll be happy. So my growth will, my happiness will go up, which will increase my growth. Uh, this, the rats are going to go storm, I think, up this way. So move up at the end of the turn. They're going to move up there. And then we can storm into their homeland and, uh, and destroy them. Actually, it might be better to go... Because I think Tanheim is where the, the green guys are. Um, you know what? I got a different idea. Let's go over here to this bridge. Let's cross the bridge and, and storm this place over this way. Okay, so as time goes on, it's spring now. Next season, we should get a lot of food coming in because we're working the uh, the fields here. Um, everyone's working still. This guy's still working on his, uh, his smithy, which will allow me to have more weapons. I have no weapons right now, but we'll eventually get it in there. And I think we'll keep going. Next turn. There's diplomacy in the game, I guess. I haven't messed with it yet, so we'll see how that goes. It is multiplayer. I think multiplayer is actually is working now, even though this is very early. I don't think there's any way of getting a hold of the game, though, early, though. Um, though, though. Oh, we got we're news here. What's going on? Uh, Lord Bert conquered Morgard from the people. So he... Con he uh, where's Morgard? Over here. So purple guy moved over this way and grabbed that kingdom over there, so we're going to do the same thing. Is that what this one is? Lord Henry uh, conquered Hormund, so he went there. Okay, no problem. My uh, my knight is now where am I at? Is over here, so we can send him in to this kingdom to go stomp whoever that name of that kingdom is over there, and we'll, we will take it. Uh, right now, so we've got a, a population of three, thirteen thirty-one people. This is slowly growing because people are getting, you know, uh, uh, happy. So it'll grow as time goes on. Um, it says we can hold 2,000 people. It's not going to stop at 2,000. If we go over 2,000, then we will have beggars outside. They don't pay taxes. They eat more food. You know, all kinds of problems. Uh, what I did when I built this uh, this smithy here is it houses 250 people, which is one peasant. So basically, it just allows me to hold more people in my town. Uh, there's all kinds of things we can make. We can make churches, make people happy. We can make castles. We can make keeps that we can put around our walls. Uh, a town guard for just a proper defense in case we get attacked. Manners house people. Um, I think there's more we can do as we grow on. As right now, we can just grow things that are adjacent to what we are right now. And, of course, we can clear these brambles out, which will give us another spot to do some, some farming or something. These guys are, like, right next to me, aren't they? I should go take those guys out. But let's go stomp into this land real quick before we do anything else. There we go. Combat time. Okay, he's got a tiny army right here. We can see we couldn't really see it before because it's too far away, but sometimes you can see him. Alright, so Battle of Tarrant. Sir Nook versus the people. Go to battle. Okay, so after this, we now go into a tactical combat style thing. We've got our three units, right? We saw the 150 soldiers, plus the 60 or so uh, peasants we have. They're going to be on the map. We'll turn-based strategy style. We will move them around. Get my cursor from the bottom of the screen. And here we are. We're on this side. we got a bridge we're crossing, and we're coming into their land over here. So we're going to place a unit, taking turns placing a unit. I'll put my swordsman up front. He can go here, so we'll put him right there on the road. And he will place somebody. I'm going to put my spearmen right uh, there in the trees. Archers on the bridge. And peasants over here. Okay, oh, and me. I, I get to choose where my general stands. Um, I can put him in the swordsman. You know what? Let's do it. 
in the swordsman. Okay, so we've got these cards that we have. Uh, I'm fine with these. I only picked three of them. You can pick more if you want to, you know, randomize or whatever. Uh, and there's an initiative going on here now. So the archers are going to go first. So we can do a couple different things. We can just shoot things. We can spend our turn, however, if we want spending one of these cards. For instance, take aim, which makes us go, you know, minus 100 initiative. But it allows us to do 70% more damage with these guys. So, sure, we'll use a card, which will squander our turn. Put them at the end there. And now our peasants can move. So peasants are going to move up this way, and we can stab them. We can see our results here. We will do 6 to 10 damage. They can retaliate, which means they will do 6 to 10 damage to me as well. Is that thunder? I think it's thunder. It's loud. <laughs> okay. Let's go over here. We'll stab, stab. Peasants are terrible. And, uh... I mean, you could do an army full of just peasants if you wanted to. But, uh... You wouldn't get very far unless you had, like, hundreds of... Or thousands of them, but really. You could probably take out a few of these, uh... These little villages, though. So, their archers are thinking about what they're going to do. They're going to shoot my swordsmen. And that's it. He, their spearman's going to hang out back there and do nothing. My guy with spear is going to come in here and stab this guy for lots and lots of damage. Let's do it. Stab, stab. There you go. 25. He's down to five guys left. He's going to stab me with his dagger for zero. Uh, swordsman, come on in. Let's, um... We could end this guy. Um, we could end any of them, really. Let's go uh, help out my peasants. Stab, stab. 33. So, yeah. All right. Um, we've got our uh, our guy with a good shot right now. Now, he can shoot in here for five damage, but he's in the trees, which is why he's hard to hit. This guy, however, we can slaughter, and we're going to do that. Let's fire those arrows. There we go. Okay, we'll let the uh, opponent do what he wants to do for one point of damage because he's tiny. I will strike him back and cut him into little bits. All right. Uh, Archer's up next. Let's go ahead and um, let me just finish this guy off, I guess. There we go. More bits. All right. March ahead, buddy. We'll stick to the hills. Of course, this all plays into your defense and all that. And he's playing cards as well. We don't know what he's doing to himself, but he's doing some sort of buffs on his guy here. But he still ain't nothing. Now, we can hide out in the trees, but no. That's what cowards do. We ain't no coward. We're going to go in there and we're going to stab him. Okay. He will hurt us for 3 to 6. We're going to hit him for 11 to 18. Again, he's just a peasant. He does have a, um, a spear, however. All right, um, can you get in there and shoot him? Just move up here to these trees. I'll let you shoot next turn. All right, peasants. Now, he would destroy us if my peasants attacked him, so we're not going to do that. I don't know if you saw the numbers there. We would be really uh, in a bad shape. There you go. Stab, stab. Hey, guys, calculating the next move. What's he going to do? He's going to uh, head to the hills and get stabbed. Alright, um, we could we could kill him. We could come in here. Now, one thing we can do is also, while we're in combat, we can s stomp around his town and burn his buildings if we want to. Which is what I was going to try to do with that guy, but we killed him too quickly. Okay. My town. So that was a very, very easy combat. Right? This is just a bunch of peasants we fought here against the people. We, uh, we lost 28. And, um, victory. So now, we have a new kingdom. And in that kingdom, we can ra we can build smithies, we can we can raise armies, we can storm across the uh, across the world as we wish. And there's the rats still hanging out there. We've got a few peasants hanging around here. We got a couple of fields worked. Uh, looks like they got cows, and we got a woodworker over this way. What is this thing? What is this thing? You can hover over anything pretty much and it tells you what it is. Yeah, pretty much anything. <laughs> anyway, all right. Uh, these are the houses there. We've got uh, this is town center. No peasants hanging around though. We can build more things, of course. Uh, let's move the army, the rats, up to... I think we just keep on going. Let's storm up this way. And how's everything going over here? You guys all right? I think so. Yeah, it looks okay. You guys you guys happy over here? It's very noisy. You're happy. Health is, is down, but it's not. It's still above 50. It's not going to be. We could get, like, a sheep farm, which would probably help some things out. We have to clear out these brambles, though, before we could do that. I'm going to let them keep on grabbing resources, though, because those seem like things we should have. So, let's go. Next turn. Now, interestingly, uh, um, I would like to try multiplayer. Uh, when I first got the key for this, which is like half a year ago, uh, it um, was more... Is Terran mad at me? Who's mad? Oh, a little bit of a bug there. Uh, oh, are you Terran? I think you're Terran. Yeah, you guys are mad at me. Oh, they're hacked. I didn't even see that. 
Uh, anyway, uh, like a, a year ago when I got this key, all that was in there was the battles. There was none of this scenario stuff. And uh, it developed quite nicely. Well, it's, oh, people are leaving. That's what's going on. People are leaving because they're so mad because this place is terrible. Um, we'll give them more rations. we got plenty of, of this around. Don't eat the cows, okay? And that'll make them a little bit happier. I can say no taxes if I want to to make them even happier. So, yeah, just give me a quarter tithe from you. Can you guys give me more money? Uh, over here. I'll take more money. There you go. You guys are happy enough. I'll take a full tithe, 110 bucks, please. You can see weapons are slowly coming in, even without a smithy, I guess. Maybe those guys have died. I don't know. Uh, we're now at this spot here. I suppose we could go ahead and do another battle here. I don't see an army around. So, um, let's get them. Battle number two. Okay, we can say don't eat cows, which will lower that, but I, I think I'm fine with, because it's going up. It's looking good here in, in Soret. No free peasants yet. I want to see that smithy get built. Are people moving to this town? Is that what this, what's happening? Is that what this means? I think so. 1466 here. Does it say what's coming on? Um, oh, yeah. Migration. 61. Ah, yeah. And then what about you over here? You. Um, minus 109. So, yeah, people are leaving this town and moving to my other one. There's some people going up this way. Ah, I see. I see. Oh, oh. Wait, I didn't see this guy. So, the merchant is here. This is a guy we can use our cash to buy things from him. If we wanted to buy weapons or whatever, we could do that and raise the second army, buy some armor, buy some, what, you know, whatever. Um, no, no, it's fine. Not right now, anyway. So, let's go and grab... We're going in to go to kill these guys. Let's do it. You go away. I don't want to see you anymore. Oh, yeah, they're all growing faster than I am. Probably wise to build a second army if we had the weapons for it. We could trade... I guess we could have traded and gotten a bunch of, of swords. Rumors of fierce bears are spreading. Bears? Bears? People are, uh... Oh, and Tyrone, they're about to revolt against me because they're so mad. But it's going up. It's going up. It'll be... Uh, hopefully it'll be alright. We can let the AI do the, uh, the battles. We'll do the one more. Oh, there's a bear over there. There's a bear over there. Spawned in. I saw a mention of random events. I hadn't seen one yet. I guess random things pop in. Alright. You know what? I don't have a problem killing a bunch of peasants. Seems like a... Seems like a grand old time. We'll let's put the swordsman up. Uh, oh, we can go way up there. Put him way up here, then. I can go way up here? Really? All right. I guess I could go across the bridge, but let's just go something like this. And we'll go with the spearman. And we'll put in our uh, archers behind here. And the um, the brave peasants right up front there. Oh, wait, and the leader. We're going to put him on the, um, on the archers this time. That's me. I'll take those cards. Sure. Try to use those a little more this time. Uh, we have a shields up card, for instance, which which takes uh, only ten percent damage from the next ranged attack. So you do have archers right there, uh, and then the charge is uh, only for mounted combats, which I don't have any of. Uh, archers are first. I think it'd be a good idea to just get a shot on these archers. Can not retaliate. Um, he won't hurt though. There we go. Okay, peasants. You can probably hit the archers a little better than. Than anyone else. Five to nine, you're going to get... Uh, well, maybe not. Either way, it's going to hurt. Yeah, yeah. These guys won't hurt you too bad. There you go. You're certainly going to get stabbed in the back, though. Pretty bad. Okay, I mean, we can go right up here and just go straight for the guy. But, uh... We're going to do that, actually. Let's get him. It's more of, a, of him than us, but I think we're a better fighter against these peasants. If not, we can send our, uh, our archers in to go deal with it. Any loss is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Inacceptable. One or the other. Okay, I'm going to send in... Uh, yeah, go ahead and, and uh, end them. There's a lot of peasants there. I feel like maybe I shouldn't be killing these guys. Maybe we should let them live so we can we can use their use the workforce. Let's go stand on this bridge. Is that a defensible spot? Should be. Okay, his turn. Oh, his turn. Stop it. I'm trying not to kill you. Can't retaliate. He would he would hurt more than I hurt him. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> it's even. Not look good for us, my lord. Yeah, it sure doesn't. 
Um, all right, fine, fine. Get out of here, peasants. Can't you see I'm trying to win a war? All right, so he's gonna sit there and, and cower a little bit. How oh, is he actually gonna fight me? Um, no, uh, two to four damage. That's terrible. Take that aim thing. Yeah. Uh, don't get, don't die. Just come back here. Step in the town. We start burning the town. And then stab. There we go. Okay, next move. What's he gonna do? He's probably gonna run away and cower. Oh, no, he's not. That's right, get him. He's in a forest, so we won't do much damage to him, but we got extra. So not much. We're getting slaughtered. He is, uh, is he running? I think he's running. I think so. There we go. Okay, he ran away. He gave up. We uh, we took him down. We have village number three. What a day. Okay, and same thing. We've got peasants. We got three guys working on this field over here. We got one back there in the lumber mill. What is? I don't know what these these ruins are doing here. I'm assuming because he's red means he needs more help on those fields. So I'm gonna make sure he has the help that he needs. Again, with the cows, I'm going to say, what if we change this over to sheep? So we're going to kill off, we're going to kill off 266 cows if we do that. That seems like a bad idea. Let's not do that. So we'll keep that going. We can eat those cows as we want because there's plenty of them. Uh, we'll go back over here. How's this one looking? Oh, there's a ton of cows here. Yeah, go ahead and eat up. Eat up. Uh, it's going, as long as it's above 20, they should be fine. Once it goes below 20, that's when they, there's a chance of them revolting which we don't want. People are, are fleeing into our home here, and it's, those numbers are going pretty high. We have an extra peasant standing around doing nothing, who I would like to have go and clear, clear those brambles out. We could build more things, I guess. We could come in here and build like a... Uh, a church makes people happy. We could charge people more if we have that. A castle uh, enables further structures and grants a garrison. I kind of want to see what the further uh, buildings are. It takes ten times, though. Um, there's these, which are just, like, gates. Which are stone walls we can set up. Made to place walls at the value. Yeah, you can put walls all around. You can build them all around. Um, you know, like... You can build proper... Uh, it actually looks like a proper fortress, you know? Um, we won't do that, though. So don't do that. I can't tell that. Um, um, maybe he is. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh... Um, if, I think it's been marked to be done. We just have to have someone that comes and works on it, right? Is that what's, that what's going on? I'm not sure how that works. So go back over there and do that thing. Uh, okay, and we've got over here. How are you guys happy? Oh, you're mad. So mad. Um, okay, I'm going to give you more rations. And quarter tithe. There we go. So it's going up. Can I get, like, no tithe for one? Well, it's only two bucks. There we go. Double rations for one year. Okay? And then... Then, then rations again. Okay, well, there we go. So there's Rising Lords. I'm sure we'll take a uh, look at this one back uh, here again in, in April when it comes out. Uh, but for now, it's, um, well, it's, I think it's a pretty good game already as it is. So anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll put a link below to the Steam page. You can check it out. I will see you next time.